now to start our card, um, I'm using a sheet of white cardstock as my base for my stamp. The stamp I'm using is this flower stamp by Hampton Arts, and it is the number 4765 Watercolor Daisy. And I'm going to stamp it with the Versamark stamp pad, um, and then I'm going to do some chalking with my pastel chalks, and these are the Studio Basics Square Pastels the 32 half sticks. And they come with a brush as well that you can use for your chalks. It's kind of nice. And so let's go ahead and stamp our image. I'm just going to stamp this with the Versamark I mentioned. Now I'm just going to line up my corner, the corner of my block to the corner of my page to get it, kind of use it as a guide to get a straight stamp on my page. Now using our chalks, we're going to start coloring in the flower. So <clears throat> I'm going to start with the flower center. I'm going to use this bright yellow. And what you do with the chalks is you just simply rub your brush over them a few times. I, I like to tap off a little bit of the excess, and then I'm going to start buffing it into the stamped image. So I'm just doing a yellow right in the center of my flower. Now I'm going to go into some of this pink over here. And now with the same brush, I'm just going right over to the pink. Rub it a few times across there. You have your color on there. And then start buffing that into your flower. And I'm actually going to go into some of this purple as well to kind of give some dimension and some a multicolored look to our flower. And you see how it's starting to pick up the Versamark really nicely where we stamped. And then it also fills in the inside of the flower as well. Now I'm going to start with the stem and the leaves. So I'm going to go into a green. I think I'm going to use kind of this, a combination of this bright green and this darker green right here. Okay, so again, just kind of using my finger to clean up my edges a little bit, but remember you're not going to really have a totally clean image because um, the chalks do spread a little bit, but that's that's kind of what I like. It kind of almost looks like a watercolor effect when you're done. So now my background, I want um, like a bluish color, I think. I don't want to just leave it plain white. So there's these three blues right here. Um, I'm going to kind of use all of these in my background here. And I'm just going to start buffing it in. what our image is starting to look like. Um, we've colored in our background and our flower and so now I'm just going to trim this out so that it's a little bit smaller piece. So I will be right back. So I just trimmed this down to be a two and an eighth by a four and an eighth and it just kind of fits nicely. I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see the flower a little bit better. Okay so now here's my card base and it basically measures eight by five and a half and it's scored down the middle. So I'm using paper from my mind's eyes, the Totally Girl Collection. Okay, so now that our card stock, our card base is folded over, it now measures four by five and a half. So I cut this piece of pattern paper down to three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And we're going to glue this down right here on our base. a little bit more dimension on here. So I took this sheet of purplish color paper that coordinates really nicely and I trimmed this down to um, three and three quarters by two inches. 
or two and a half inches actually, I believe. And so that's going to fit right over here. So let's go ahead and glue that one down as well. Okay. And I'm just going to I'm just going about maybe three quarters to an inch up from the bottom. I don't want it completely centered on my page. I just wanted something to add a little bit more dimension to the background of our card. And now, remember our stamped image. This measures two and an eighth by four and an eighth, and so I wanted two. Um, I wanted to mat it with two different colors, so I chose this darker purple, which is the same as this sheet, and this one would be two and a quarter by four and a quarter, and this one will be two and three eighths by four and three eighths. Okay, and actually before I finish off the matting, I want to add a ribbon here. I'm going to use the Celebrate It Sheer Creations ribbon, and this is kind of, it's, it's a really sheer ribbon, and it's, it's probably hard to see on there, but it's, it's a pinky lavender color. It's very pretty, and it, and it matches really nicely with our stamps and our paper that we chose. So all I'm going to do is just tie a knot here with this. bow on here. I just I just made sure it was down towards the bottom and off to the side a little bit. And so now I've just glued the back and I'm going to attach my final mat here. Just like that. And now this is what's going to go right here on our page. So it's looking pretty cute. Um, I think I'm going to raise this up though to be on some pop dots. I'm just going to use this dimensional foam tape here to give this a bit of a raised look. Okay, so now we're just going to add this right here and um, I'm kind of just centering it on the page. Okay, and place that down. So here's what our card is looking like now and it's almost finished. Um, what I'm going to do probably off camera is just take a thank you stamp and stamp it right here in the center of the card on the inside. But then on the outside, I'm going to take some diamond stickles by Ranger and I'm going to outline the petals of my flower up here. And the reason I'm doing this is the last step is so that my card will be completely finished and I can just outline with my glitter and then let the, let the stickles dry um, but have my card done. So all I'm going to do here is just start outlining the petals. Do some in the center. And you could go ahead and do your leaves if you like that look, but I just want to really make the... I just really want to make the um, petals and the flower itself stand out here, so I'm just doing this part. And it really makes a really pretty finish to our flower. Okay, so there's the finished card. I hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll have some detailed pictures at the end, too, so you can see it a little bit closer. So thank you so much, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.